Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for stopping by, it really does mean a lot to have your support. So today we're going to be doing day two, look two with this gorgeous BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. So it really is stunning. So obviously if you saw yesterday's look you will know that I wasn't overly keen on Malibu and also the hills. The shimmers just didn't seem typical of BH Cosmetics formula so I do want to test some more shimmers out today and I want to see if it's kind of the overall palette that's like that or it's just a few shades. So we're going to go in with the Abbey again. Right, here's a brush. Right so I'm going in with my Real Techniques Bold Metals brush, so it's that one there. And it's a nice palette, this, but it doesn't have a mirror, so it's a little bit inconvenient. I'm going to just zoom in. And as far as white eyeshadows goes, this is a really good white matte eyeshadow. I have been having serious pain in this left eye today. This is the weaker eye of the two. So when I was really really young I got into a bit of a fight with a friend and she kind of ended up throwing like sherbet in the eye um, and I've got a little scar there now, I nearly got blind in that eye um, so it is very very sensitive and I do need to be careful with it. This eye is always one that kind of gets infections first um, and is always watering when I do my makeup you probably have seen that in videos. But yeah, I had to wear this um, like mask, not mask, um, I had to wear this eye patch for like six to eight weeks when I was at secondary school the first year and I got so much teasing because of it, um, but obviously had to wear it. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've got a little scar there now. Every time I go to the opticians to comment on it and this eye is deteriorating over time. At the moment, um, when I wear my glasses, I've had them two years, I don't, I can't see things as clearly as I used to be able to, so it means either one of two things, my eyesight's improved, um, which is very unlikely, or it's deteriorating, so I do need to try and make an optician's appointment really, really soon. Um, but yeah, let's not talk too much about my eyes, but I just want to tell you, if this one kind of closes a little bit, that's why, because it's really, really painful. Should I be putting makeup on? Probably not, to be honest. I'm just gonna put a couple of eyeshadows on it today, though, um, just to test out the palette. Right, um, I don't know where the brush is that I was using yesterday. I think, though, I think I'm just gonna go in with this Real Techniques one. It's part of the Berlin collection and it's the base shadow brush. Right, so what are we gonna what are we going to use now then? I think I'm gonna go in with this one. So it's the shade 90210. Again, I used to watch um this series so much when I was a teenager and also the new show that they brought in as well. So, again, I'm finding the matte's quite pigmented. If you can hear my stomach, I apologise about that. They definitely blend out well. So even if the shimmers aren't the best, which will be disappointing, but even if they're not, I've got a few pastels that I didn't have in the collection already. Right, I'm worried about how this is going to go on to the left eye, but let's try it anyway. Right, 
might be a case of putting this on for the video and then taking the eyeshadow off. Right, then I'm going to take that shadow off and I'm going to go in with Abbott Kinney, the one I used yesterday. Just trying to get that in the crease itself. They blend out really, really well together, which I like. In the pan, there is a little bit of fallout, but I'm not too bothered about that. I'm more bothered about how they look on the eyes. Which the mattes just, they just look really, really good. Okay, right, so for the shimmer I'm just going to go on with my finger again and the one I want to use is this Melrose one. Um, so Melrose, again I used to watch Melrose Place when I was younger. This makes me sound like all I do is watch TV. Maybe when I was younger I did. Um, don't really watch too much TV at the moment, it's mainly YouTube. So that's the shade that it really is stunning. A really stunning purple oh that's nice that seems to be a lot more pigmented than Malibu the one I used yesterday we're also going to spritz the brush as well I've not did I zoom in yeah I zoomed in um, yeah we're gonna spritz the brush as well so I can see if it goes more pigmented What I want to do is I want to leave a bit of space. I didn't know I was going to do this just till that minute then. Um, let me just get rid of this fallout. What am I doing? I'm trying to look in, in here. Um, right, so let me try and get rid of this. So, what I want to do is I want to put City of Angels and again, that reminds me of Angel, um, the, the series. I'm loving this palette. It reminds me of all the TV shows I've watched. And I'm going to put that in the inner portion of the eye, I think. Oh, that is stunning. Doing it like that, that is absolutely stunning. Just gives me um, the chance to actually use more eyeshadows. Right, and let's go back in with Melrose. It's watering. Yeah, I would definitely say these shimmers that I'm using now are better than the ones I used yesterday. Let's go back in with City of Angels. Absolutely stunning. Can't stop sniffling. Okay, whoops. Oh, darn it. Loads of eyeshadows gone on my dungarees. Um, inner corner, I really don't know what to do for inner corner. Right, so yesterday I put the hills on, which was this one. So this one seems to light a shade. I really don't know if that Sunset Boulevard is going to look okay in the inner corners. What I might do is I might try this silver rush hour, it's called. Why has it gone all black, this palette? Um, yeah. I don't know whether that's from my jeans or what. Um, so yeah. Let's go in with Rush Hour. 
and test just how pigmented that one is. Mm, again, this is the same. Could be a case of it needing to be spritzed. Let's try. Not the best shade for the inner corner, um, but it will just have to do since I've put it down. Right, what I need to do now is spritz the brush for the shades that I've used on the eyelid. So we're going with the lighter blue first, the City of Angels. Oh yeah, that's that's more pigmented. off that and again spritz the brush and then go in with Melrose I think this one's just staying the same pigmentation yeah I think it is So this eyeshadow look is pretty crazy, it's still pretty out there, but it's not as crazy as yesterday's eye look was. That just kind of took on a whole new level of craziness. Um, so now then, what we need to do is put some lash line shades down, and I just want to put the same shades down on again, like I did yesterday, just the ones that I used in the crease. So let's do that. I'm just going to wipe this smoky eye brush and I'm going to go in with, we'll go in with, what did I use first? 90210 first. Does anyone else suffer with really watery eyes and what do you do, I mean, to stop it, what eye drops do you use? This is driving me nuts. Seems to be worse around this time of the year when hay fever season is among us, but I don't tend to normally get hay fever now. I, it, like for me, with hay fever, it normally comes to me around July, August time. So I'm definitely getting it really early this year, if it is hay fever. I think it is. I'm going in now with the shade Abbott Kinney, which is the darker fuchsia pink. God, this eye is just so watery. Okay, so that's looking nice. I like the way it's looking. I want to go in with, where are your brush? This one, this one isn't part of the Bold Metals collection. It's a cheapie I got from eBay, I think, or Amazon. I think it would have come from eBay. So just let's wipe that off. And then I'm gonna go back in with the Abbey, just for the brow bone. Okay, then I want to go in with this Too Faced Perfect Black Eyeliner to 
tight line with. If I do not put, you see what I mean about my eyes being really, really sensitive today. I really shouldn't have used this. Just leave it there. And then I'm gonna go in with the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara by Essence. Which is just unbelievable. I mean, look at that eyelash to that eyelash. It's practically non existent, so we better match them up. Right, so that is that. Um, now let's get a lippy. Right, so I want to try this one because I don't know if I want to keep it in the collection. It is very, very sheer. And I'm talking really, really sheer. I'll do a swatch on my hand. I did do a swatch for my um, Pretty Random Chooses, my makeup shop, my stash. But that's it there. It's in the shade Damage. I just like my lipsticks a little bit more pigmented than that. Um, I don't mind the fact that it's cream. I wouldn't normally choose cream now, but... Obviously when I bought this I did like cream lipsticks. Now I'm more of a matte girl. Um, but yeah, I just, has mascara gone down now to me? I feel like I've... Oh no. Right, we'll let that dry and um, we'll just put the lipstick on. So I've got some mascara here, but let's ignore that. Um, let's take the lip oil off. Right, so we're gonna be testing this and if I don't like it, I'm gonna declutter it, which is quite sad because they're not the cheapest of things, are they? Um, so yeah, that's the shade. I don't think I like it guys, um, I think it looks more like a sheer lip tint, um, so I don't know if I'm going to be keeping that in the collection. It looks okay with the eye look, but it's not really the type of lipstick that I tend to use. Um, I like my lipstick a lot more pigmented than this sheer wash of colour here. Um, so I'm just going to um, wipe this mess up away and then I'll come back. Okay, so we just need to add a little bit more of this eyeshadow, um, Melrose, this one here, because there's some eyeshadow on the lid. Not eyeshadow, um, mascara. And this one is nowhere near as, like, pigmented as the one on the right, just because it's been watering. Right, so let me take that off and we'll put a little bit more of City of Angels on as well. That is just stunning, isn't it? Yeah, I really, really like that. So, guys, this palette so far... So this is like my second impression on it. Um, so the mattes, again, I stick by what I said yesterday. The mattes blend out really, really nicely. Um, the shimmers are hit and miss. I would say Malibu and The Hills are not pigmented. Um, this Rush Hour one seems the same as the Malibu, The Hills. Yeah, the hills and obviously the rush hour. I need to test that all over the lid though to get a really good impression about it. Um, and the same with the hills. Um, what else? Melrose and City of Angels, the ones that I've got on the lid today, are absolutely stunning together. And I, I'm sure they would be stunning separately as well. But I've only got three more days to do obviously free looks and I need to be using as much of these eyeshadows on the lids as possible to get a clear view so I can do 
quite um, a good mini review at the end of the week. So guys, this is what it looks like. It's just really, really beautiful. I think the palette was £13 or something like that. So for £13 and you're getting 16 eyeshadows, like you're doing all these travel palettes that BH Cosmetics bring out, I do feel like it's worth it. Like I said earlier, even if it's just for the mattes, um, I feel like it's worth it because I don't really have a lot of those shades in. This mint green here, Dreamer, looks really, really nice. Let's see how pigmented you are oh that is quite pigmented compared to the one that's in my elf palette um that would be a good mint green to have i'm not too mad at the fact that the shimmers could be a cop out because i've got quite a lot of um pastels there that i can be using especially as the pastels that are in my morphe palette aren't as pigmented as this one so yeah i'm pretty glad that it's in the collection and and look how gorgeous the palette is as well it really is stunning speaking of palettes i've got a few more palettes into the collection i want to show you what they look like just i don't know whether to do a separate yeah i'm gonna do a separate video for them um, so this concludes the video guys thank you so much for watching today I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel it means the absolute world to me if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and notifications bell please like it really helps out the channel share and comment and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys